I'm Ryan from ExtremeTerrain.com and today we're going to talk about how to choose the best tire for your Jeep. We're going to be doing a lot of videos like this so make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to see the latest. Today we're going to be talking about the pros and cons of different tire sizes, we're going to take you out on the road and finally hit the trail to really illustrate the differences. Today to show the three different tire sizes that we're talking about we have three different Jeeps. Starting on my right we have a four-door Sahara that has a two and a half inch TerraFlex lift kit with shocks. It is running a 17 by 9 inch Mammoth Black Type 88 wheel with a 33 inch Nitto Terra Grappler tire. Directly behind me there is a Dune 4 door JK that has a 3.5 inch Rock Crawler X Factor lift kit that is running Mammoth Boulder Beadlock style black wheels in a 17 by 9 and those are wrapped in a Mickey Thompson Baja MTZ that is a 35 by 1250. Finally, we have a black four-door Rubicon that also has the same three and a half inch X-Factor rock crawler lift kit, but it also has an inch and a quarter rough country body lift, which is why it looks a little bit taller, as well as the flat fenders. That Jeep is running the Mammoth D-Window black steel wheels in a 17 by nine, and those are wrapped in a Nitto Trail Grappler that is a 37 by 1250 inch tire. There are a few different reasons to want to put a larger tire on your Jeep. One is for the looks, but another is so that you can roll over obstacles off-road a little bit easier and have a larger footprint off-road so you have more traction. But when you go up to a larger tire, there are certainly going to be pros and cons, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So the first tire we have over here is a stock 31 inch tire off of a JK. This is a Bridgestone Dueler AT and this is a 255 7018. Now tire sizes are in both metric and in standard. We're going to be using standard inch measurements. So this is roughly equivalent to about a 31, 32 inch tire that is about 10, 10 and a half inches wide on an 18 inch wheel. Now this is going to be a factory wheel, so it's going to have a little bit more back spacing than these aftermarket wheels. When you go with a wider tire, you need a little bit less back spacing to clear because you do have that wider tire, but with a narrow 10 and a half inch tire like this, you can get away with a little bit more back spacing and tuck the wheel a little bit closer into the Jeep. This is going to be, as it says in the name, an all-terrain tire, so you're going to get very little tire noise when you're driving down the road. You're also going to get really good tire wear. With a big knobby mud terrain tire on the street, you are gonna wear those tires out a little bit quicker than you would an all-terrain tire like this. This is also going to have a smaller sidewall because it is a smaller tire and you're running an 18 inch wheel. There's less sidewall, so you have a little bit better handling, a little bit less of that squishy feeling that you can get when you have a larger sidewall. The next tire we're talking about is a 33 inch Nitto Terra Grappler, which is still an all-terrain tire, and it is going to be a little bit more aggressive than that Bridgestone Dueler that we just talked about. Again, this is roughly equivalent to a 33 inch tall tire that is 12 and a half inches wide, and this is going to be on a 17 inch wheel. Now, because this is going to be a taller tire and a slightly smaller wheel, you are going to have a little bit more sidewall, so if you're taking turns at speed, you might have a little bit more of a squishy feel. It may not be as firm. Although, let's face it, Jeeps aren't race cars. You're not driving a Jeep for its cornering ability. What you are going to get from a tire and wheel combination like this, because you do have a wider 12 and a half inch tire on a nine inch wheel, is some additional sidewall pressure and the ability to air down the tire a little bit further off-road without the risk of losing that bead. As you air down a nice wide tire like this, you're getting a bigger and bigger footprint, giving you even more traction to get over obstacles. The 35 inch tire we're talking about today is a 35 by 1250 inch Nitto Trail Grappler MT. That is a mud terrain tire, so this is going to have the big knobby treads that aren't going to wear quite as well on the road and give you a little bit more road noise, but the pro is that this is going to give you some really good traction off-road. Now when you go up to a 35 inch tire, you have a couple of things going against you. One is just the height of the tire and the other is the weight. When you go up to a larger tire like this, it changes your final drive gear ratio, which can make your Jeep feel sluggish if you don't re-gear, and re-gearing is expensive. So if you're looking to save on parts and keep your build a little bit on the lower end of the budget, I would recommend sticking with a 33 inch tire. However, you are definitely going to notice a difference. The other thing that you have going against you with a big tire like this is the additional weight. 
that additional weight, no matter what your gearing is, will make the Jeep feel a little bit more sluggish. The pros to a bigger tire like this is that you are gonna be able to roll over obstacles off-road a little bit easier, and when you air this down, you're gonna have an even larger footprint than you would with the 33. Finally, we have a 37 inch by 1250 Nitto Trail Grappler MT, which is the same tire as the 35, but of course a couple inches bigger. A 37 is pretty much the largest tire you're gonna go with on your JK without starting to get into the realm where you have to cut the body to clear these larger tires. A 37, while it looks mean, you have much less resistance when you're rolling over large obstacles off-road and you can get a huge footprint when you air this tire down, you do end up with even more issues if you don't re-gear your Jeep. This is going to be a really big heavy wheel tire combination, so you're definitely gonna get a sluggish feel when rolling down the road. So re-gearing is a must with a big tire like this one. Now that we've introduced the four different tires, let's take a couple of them out on the road and then out on the trail to really illustrate the pros and cons. So now that we introduced those tires, it's time to actually take a set out on the road and really compare and contrast and talk about the pros and the cons of each one. Now, in general, I think everyone can agree that they want a bigger tire. Bigger is always better, especially when you're talking about tires. However, again, there are some negatives to having a big tire. The Jeep we're driving in today has a set of 33 by 1250 all-terrain tires on it. And by having a smaller tire, that allowed us to get away with a couple of things. This Jeep is still going to have a good amount of pep and pickup because we do have a smaller 33 inch tire on it, all without the need to re-gear. Now, anytime you're putting a larger tire on your Jeep, it's always a good idea, especially if you have an automatic transmission to use a recalibrator. That will let the computer in the Jeep know that you have a larger tire and allow it to adjust for the shift points, but you're still not going to get that full peppy feel back that you would if you had a factory tire on the Jeep. So again, a 33 inch tire is gonna give you something that is larger. It's going to give you a little bit more of that off-road look. It's also going to give you a little bit more performance off-road by giving you the ability to roll over obstacles a little bit easier and also giving you a bigger footprint. But you don't have the major drawback to a 35 inch tire or a 37 inch tire of needing to re-gear to get that peppy feeling back. And these are all things that you have to consider. If your Jeep is just going off-road, then yeah, 37 is gonna be the better tire for your off-road situation, giving you more clearance and giving you the ability to roll over obstacles easier. And you don't have to worry about the drawbacks to driving a 37 on the road. But if you do have a mixed purpose rig or if you're building a specifically on-road build, then a 33 inch tire is going to probably be the better choice for you. If you are looking at a larger tire for off-road ability, it's important to remember that a bigger tire is going to give you more clearance to the bottom of your axle. However, a lift is going to give you more clearance to the bottom of your Jeep, to the belly pan, to the frame, and those two clearances are very different. In a minute here, we're gonna hit the trail and we're gonna be able to illustrate that, as well as the difference between how easy it is to roll over an obstacle with a 37 inch tire versus a 33 inch tire. So here we are on the trail. I'm still in the Jeep with the 33 inch tires on it, but we also have a Jeep right behind me with 37 inch tires on it. So we can really show you guys the difference between how these tires work off road when you come up to an obstacle. The first thing we're gonna do is find an obstacle that we can clear easily with the 37s and really show you where you're gonna gain clearance with those tires versus the 33. And then we'll show you how easily a 37 inch tire rolls over an obstacle versus the 33 inch. So you can really have an idea of where the benefit comes in with having a larger tire off-road. So with this obstacle that we found on the trail, we're really gonna illustrate the difference between the clearance you get from having a larger tire versus the clearance you get from having a larger lift. The larger tire will give you more clearance between the ground and the axle, where the bigger lift is gonna give you more clearance to your skid plates and your frame. So let's roll over this obstacle with the Jeep with 33s and then with 37s to really show you the difference. Here comes the Sahara with the 33s. Let's see how it does over the obstacle. So as you can see, with the 33 inch tires, we did hit the log with the pumpkin. This is just a log, it's not gonna cause a lot of damage and it's gonna move out of the way. But if we were on a trail with rocks or if that was a stump and we hit it with speed, we may have peeled back the differential cover, we could have caused some damage 
or in the best case scenario, we just got hung up and would have had to back up and try going around a different way. Now we'll see how the obstacle gets cleared with the 37s to really illustrate why having larger tires is beneficial when you're off-road. As you can see, now we have plenty of clearance between the bottom of the pumpkin and the obstacle, even with this larger differential on the Rubicon than we had on the Sahara. And that's all thanks to the 37 inch tires versus the 33s. So clearance to the bottom of the axle is one thing, but you also get the ability to roll over obstacles easier when you have a larger tire. So let's find some other obstacles and check that out. Another benefit to having a big tire off-road is that it rolls over obstacles a lot easier than a smaller one. So the Rubicon on 37s will have much less trouble getting over this log than the Sahara on the 33s. And even though this is just one log in the middle of a fairly open trail, what that translates to when you're off-road and there's lots of obstacles, stumps, or even rocks is the day when you're dragging the axles over obstacles all day long or you're cruising along to the next trail. So today we went over the pros and cons of running a 33, a 35, and a 37 inch tire, both on the road and on the trail. Make sure you comment below to let us know what setup you're running on your rig, or if you have any questions about what we went over. But for now, I'm Ryan from ExtremeTerrain.com. Thanks for watching.